Min. Hi, my name is Chelsea. I'm going to be your nurse today. I've come in to perform a set of vital signs. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to perform some hand hygiene here and I'll pull the curtain over here for privacy. And then can you just verify your first and last name for me? Mary Smith. And your date of birth? 1-1-2001. One, one, Perfect. And then do you have any allergies, Mary? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I brought in my equipment here, is I'm going to do a blood pressure on you. I'm going to check your heart rate, your temperature, your pulse ox, and your respiration rate. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So before we get started with all of this, um, I want to ask you a few questions about your family history and your current history. Do you have any family history of heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol? No. no? And then what about you as yourself? Do you have any of those nope. as a history? And then any like lipidemia, anything like that? Nope. No kidney disease? No. Nope. Perfect. Okay. And then on a scale of zero to 10, what would you say your pain level is right now? Zero. Perfect. So then we can get started. I'm just going to check your blood pressure first. Do you have any history of a mastectomy? No. No fistulas? No. No. Okay. And no IVs in your arm, it looks like? No. Nope. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just going to scoot this a little bit closer to you. Move it up a little. And then if you don't mind, just placing your right arm, if that's okay, mm -hmm. at heart level. And I did perform hand hygiene. If I needed to, I would put on some gloves, but if you're comfortable with it, I'm not, not going to use gloves. I'm comfortable okay. with you not using gloves. Great. So first I want to make sure that your pulse ox cuff is the correct size for you. Looks like it is. I'm going to wrap this around your upper arm here and line it up with your artery. Just make sure it's not too snug or too tight. Is that comfortable for you? Yes. Okay. And what is your normal baseline blood pressure run? It is 120 over 80. Oh, that's great blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I apologize, my hands are cold. I'm going to clean my hands again here. I'm just going to check your pulse, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to inflate the cup just to kind of give me a baseline of how high I should inflate the cup. Is that okay? Okay. All right. So first, I'm just going to check your brachial artery here. Okay. So then, as I do that, I'm just going to inflate this here. So I felt it stop and restart again at 120, just like you said. So I am going to inflate it to 30 above that, so 150. I'm going to wait 30 seconds and give your arm a little bit of a break before I do the actual reading. As I'm giving you that break, I'm just going to clean my pieces here. Are you having a good day so far today? I am, how about you? Great, it's almost the weekend. Yeah. Feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so while I take your blood pressure, I just advise that you don't speak during the blood pressure reading and then just keep your feet flat on the floor for me. Okay. Thank you. So I got 120 over 78, so that's perfect, within normal limits. 
and I'm just going to write that down and then I will recheck it again before we are completed. Okay. So I'll give you a little bit of a break here while I check your other vital signs. Mm -hmm. So next I'm just going to assess your pulse here so you can actually put your wrist back up here. And I'm just going to feel, sorry again, my hands are cold. Just checking your radial pulse. So I got 62 for your pulse, mm -hmm. which is within normal range of 60 to 100. Mm -hmm. And then next I'm going to check your temperature here. Perfect, 98.5, put that in the garbage there. And no recent fever, and I did forget to ask you, um, did you, have you had, within the last 30 minutes, any hot or cold drinks? Have you smoked, have you chewed any gum? No. Okay, perfect. All right, so 98.5, and that's great temperature within normal range. And then I'm also going to have you place your hand on the table here. I'm going to check your oxygen level. And as this is reading that, I'm also going to read or count your respirations. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and just breathe normally while I do that. And then I'm just going to check your capillary refill. Make sure it's brisk. Yep. Okay. Put that finger in there. Just hold still. Respirations, I got 14, which is within normal range. And then it looks like your oxygen level is at 98%, which is great. And again, it says your pulse is 62, so that matches with what I counted as well. All right, so again, um, your blood pressure got 100, 120 over 78, your pulse was 62, temperature was 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Your respirations are 14 and your pulse ox is 98% on room air, which is great. And then before we finish up, I will check your blood pressure one last time. Okay. Just to make sure that it's consistent with the first. Is this arm still okay to use? Yes.
So that's having that 120 over 80. So very consistent with the first. Do you have any questions for me about your vital signs? No. Okay. And then I'm going to clean all my equipment before I leave. And then I also want to make sure that you're comfortable. Are you comfortable where you're at? Yes. Okay. And then I'll make sure you get your call light before I leave the room. Your bed is in lowest position. It looks like the brakes are locked. So that's perfect. Your side rails are up. And then I'll get your personal belongings back to you. Do you need anything else? No. Okay. Let me just clean my hands and then I'll head out and then I'll be back in an hour to check on you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank, Thank you. you.